Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be reading Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andre and Guy Parker Reese. Enjoy! And again, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please do so. And make sure you share this video with all your friends and family. Here we go! Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. It's a bit of rhyme here. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots of trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Whew, poor guy, look at him falling down. Not cool. Now every year in Africa, they hold a jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. Look, cool, jungle dance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really bad. Ooh, poor Gerald. Look at these. The warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. Wow. You know, lions are a majestic animal, so makes sense. King of the jungle. The chimps did a little cha-cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And the eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. I guess that's what a Scottish reel looks like. Looks fun. Gerald swallowed bravely and he walked towards the dance floor but the lions saw him coming and they began to roar. That's not nice. Not nice at all. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald. The animal all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you so, you're so weird. You are so weird. I don't know, I think that's not weird. Maybe some people can't dance. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel such a clot. I feel like such a clot. Hmm. So he crept off the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and alone. Look at that. Poor Gerald walking by himself. I think he feels bad for them, but all the rest are smiling. That's not cool. Guys, make sure to include everyone. Let's keep going. Then he found a little clearing. Ooh, that's a clearing. And he looked up at the sky. The moon looks so beautiful. The moon can be so beautiful. He whispered with a sigh. <sighs> Excuse me, coughed a cricket. Look at the cricket. I couldn't see it before. Here's the cricket. Who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. That's right. Everybody dance to their own tune. All right, let's see what happens next. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. Ooh, look at the trees and the grass. They're all dancing. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Wow. Everything makes music if you really want it too. It does. That's, that you dance to your own music, your own tune. So now let's see what Gerald has listened to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do so most amazing thing. His hooves started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying. Ooh, look at that swaying neck. And his tail was swishing around. Woo, that's a cool move. I think Gerald found his rhythm. He threw his legs out sideways. Look at him throwing sideways. And he swung them everywhere. 
Then he did a backward somersault. Woohoo, that's pretty difficult. And leapt up in the air. He leapt up in the air. That's pretty cool. Wow, he's got ups. He's got hops. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was wide open. Woohoo! I'm dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Gerald cried. Wow, he's happy. I guess that's when one of, one of us we have like a roadblock and all of a sudden we can do it. That's awesome. Then one by one each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite in trance. Yeah, he's got the moves. Look at that. He's leaping up. He's, ooh, dancing. That's a move I know. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever seen. That could be very true. Look at that. Look at the look at the baboon right there. Like, woohoo! Look at the lion. He's not roaring right now. Okay. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. That's a pretty cool bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. Wow. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this reading of Giraffes Can't Dance and Lions Can Do Their uh, Waltz and Tango. But hope you enjoyed it. I'll keep bringing you more content, more stories like this. And make sure to share, subscribe, and let everyone know about the cool stories you watched and read with me. All right, guys. Have a good night. Bye-bye.